Welcome back to The Watch List. I'm Lindsay Melchuk. Lapari Mining has announced a robust 43-101 mineral resource estimate from its Chitango Diamond project in Angola, with an indicated resource containing 14.6 million carats and an inferred resource of 8.5 million carats. Here to reflect a light on all of that is CEO Ken Johnson and Wes Roberts, Technical Director and Mining Engineer. Welcome to you both. Good to see you, Lindsay. Thanks, uh, thanks for having us back on. Now, Ken, maybe you can start us off. This is a pretty vigorous estimate. So what does this resource estimate change for the company? Well, it really is just a confirmation of the work that was done in the past. You know, this, this Trezo Kimberlite was brought to feasibility by Al Rosa back in 2013. So, you know, from between the time of, that they discovered the pipe back in 2005 and 2013, they spent $35.6 million drilling the deposit, you know, trial mining it to recover about 17,000 carats of diamonds. So we had all that information. And really what we had to do was confirm that work. So we carried out a drilling program last year, drilled about 3,700 meters of, of core, um, built our own geological model, and really confirmed the resource that was previously reported by El Rosa back in 2013. That was the basis of their feasibility study. They were looking at putting this project into production back at that time. So now the next step for us is to, uh, is to, treat a, a sample of Kimberlite, large sample, bulk sample, recover about 5,000 carats of diamonds that we can sell in the market to determine the diamond value. And with that information and the current market price for the diamonds, we can update the feasibility study and look to put the project into production within the next three years. Well, that is exciting news. And Ms. maybe Wes, you can take this one home. What are the plans to move the project forward from here? Well, the the main thing is to do this bulk sample, to take the 10,000 tons and uh, recover diamonds. And then that will enable us to refresh the feasibility study and redo the economics. So then we'll really know what the, the value proposition is for the project. There was um, an historical bulk sample taken, but unfortunately we don't have those diamonds right now. But we do know the value at the time, but that's uh, uh, almost 10 years ago. So we need current prices really to refresh the, the feasibility study. So the previous work done by the Russians were to a Russian standard, which is very extensive standards for mineral classification. But being a Canadian company, we need to put it Canadian standards in I-43-101. And uh, so fortunately, we kind of had already a good playbook where to drill, um, where to sample. So it was really a confirmation program with a, qualified person to to uh, be a third party and, and verify those resources. Well, all of this sounds like there is a lot in the bucket for you. Congratulations with everything. And we will definitely be keeping our eyes and ears open for more updates. So come back soon and tell us. Thanks very much, Lindsay. Pleasure. Again, that was Ken Johnson, CEO, and Wes Roberts, Technical Director of Lapari Mining. To read more about them, head over to their website at lapariminingcom And don't forget to bookmark stockhouse.com for all of your market news. I'm Lizzie Melchick. We'll see you soon.